The Women of Whisper Place by J. Gabrielle Chapter 4 New Wildlife Janet felt butterfly kisses on her cheek and forehead. She could hear a distant voice calling her name. Who was it? Where was it coming from? The kisses stopped. She heard the voice again. Janet! 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 Reggie whispered. She opened her eyes. There was Reggie. Janet smiled and said, I had the nicest dream. Perhaps you'll tell me about it while you help me get moved. Is that your not-so-subtle way of telling me it's time to get moving? The day is progressing. All right, let me make sure my camera is still set up and charged. What are you hoping to take a picture of, like I can't guess? Yes, Janet admitted, the monkey. I know it will come back. Reggie didn't want to start an argument, so she simply said, Perhaps. Reggie was thinking about an old lesbian joke which asks, What does a lesbian bring to a second date? Answer, a U-Haul. She smiled to herself. It sounds like a stereotype. And Janet and Reggie, it was just about true. The two women rode in Janet's little black S-10 to Reggie's apartment. Most of Reggie's belongings were still in boxes, and they had her moved out in less than an hour. They rode back to Janet's in silence, taking in the sights of quaint, scenic College Park. There were still hundred-year oak trees which had been blown onto houses in yards and blocking a few streets still. <coughs> Janet hit the brakes hard. Like a flash, a tan and brown animal had streaked in front of the truck. She looked at Reggie and asked, did you see that? Reggie nodded, dumbfounded. Slowly she whispered in disbelief, A bobcat! To be continued.